So a while back, um, I was in my chemistry class, and we were going over some organic chemistry stuff. But um, my teacher likes to um, go a little bit more in depth and to connect what we're learning in the class into real life. And one of the things that we covered was um, water bottles. And he showed us how um, water bottles are basically not environmentally safe. And um, I decided, we went over it really briefly, so I decided to dig a little deeper and um, find out exactly what it is that water bottles do in our life. Because we develop some nasty habits, and um, these habits, sometimes you do them without thinking, and um, before we know it, they're, you know, spread us over later. So today I want to talk to you about how the um, water bottle industry has um, affected our environment, our wallets, and um, how it's just been, um, how we've been manipulated to buy water, water, bottled water. Um, so the first example I'm going to give you guys is um, a campaign ad that Fiji um, did. They put up an ad and a label that said, it says Fiji because it's not bottled in Cleveland. And um, the people from Cleveland got really, really upset about that because they were like the butt of the joke and they were not going to be um, the laughing matter of something that they were, um, they didn't want to be recognized as the city with dirty water. And um, this was in 2006. And um, so Cleveland ran a study and Cleveland officials found that um, in Fiji there was 6.31 micrograms of arsenic per liter. And the FDA limit, according to the FDA, is 10 micrograms per liter. And um, of course, Fiji wanting to rebuttal, they did their own study that found that they had two micrograms, which I mean isn't a lot, but either way, it still has arsenic in it. Um, and Cleveland claimed that they didn't have any arsenic in their city tap. So that was one big mistake that Fiji did because it screwed them over um, publicly. And um, so coming back to that, I mean, I, um, Fiji is um, from like springs and you know, they claim to have um, water straight from the source. But some of these um, bottled water that you buy are actually just filtered tap water. Um, like Aquafina and Dasani. Um, Aquafina and Dasani are just filtered tap water. They get it from the public um, resources. And they even state it on their website. I went to like aquafina.com and it says, in much fancier words, but essentially it's filtered tap water. And um, you can, uh, instead of buying the bottled water, which is just filtered tap water, you can invest in buying a filter at home. And that way you can just not spend on buying basically the container, not the water, because you're paying for the plastic that you're um, getting the water from. And um, basically, one fourth of all water that's bottled is filtered tap water. That's according to the National Resources Defense Council. And um, also, a World Wildlife Fund study in 2001 confirmed that um, um, consumers that buy this bottled water is they use it as a measure of social status and healthy living. So we've been looking at the way to buy this tap water because we think it's healthier, it's cleaner, and if we buy water, it's like, oh, I can buy water. Let's from the mountains, I don't have to get it from the regular tap. And um, that also comes into the issue of taste. When we buy a tap, I mean, when we buy um, bottled water, we think because it's healthier, it tastes better. But um, in Good Morning America, they ran a study in their studio audience, and they found that um, people there preferred their New York City tap water over Evian, which is kind of shocking because Evian is also kind of pricey. And speaking of pricey, um, in 2003, um, Americans alone spent more than $7 billion on bottled water at an average cost of a dollar a bottle. And when you think about it, I mean, sometimes you buy a bottle of water, and I thought this dollar could be cheap, but it adds up. And um, the daily intake, I think, is like three or four bottles of water a day. And um, it turns into a ripoff because you spend all that money into buying the plastic containers. And, um, in New York City, um, there was like the average um, cost for daily intake of water, and for like a CVS like drugstore brand, um, it's at about four dollars and forty-one cents. For Dasani, it's six dollars and thirty-six cents, and for Evian, it's six dollars and seventy-six cents. So, I mean, each individually, if you keep buying that regularly, it adds up to like thousands of dollars a year. But for tap water, it costs only about fourteen cents 
a day for you know, daily intake of water, and that only adds up to a few hundred dollars a year. So you end up saving money if you just get water from the tap instead of buying them and that was from the Fox News instead of living in 2008. And um, people have been, uh, begun to recognize this, and um, um, an office administrator in Austin, Texas, said that she exclusively drinks tap water only now because she feels it is a ripoff. And um, also, not only um, do we spend so much money on it, but all of those water bottles that we just buy during the two minutes and toss in the trash, some of it does get recycled, and a lot of it doesn't get recycled. Um, some of us just toss in the trash because there's not a recycling bin readily available for us as well. And um, we buy, Americans buy half a billion bottles, which is enough to circle the globe five times per week. And um, that, um, okay. not only do we just dispose of these water bottles, you know, in an inappropriate manner, the um, amount of time and cost um, it takes to produce these water bottles is immense. Um, the extraction of oil to produce the water bottles um, each year um, is enough to fuel a million cars um, in the United States. So that's pretty impressive. Um, also, 80% of these water bottles end up in landfills across the like India and China. And um, actually, China buys our plastic waste, and they actually reuse that those um, plastic bottles, and they recycle them. So basically, we're paying China to like get rid of our trash, and they actually use it for something that's useful for them. And um, some of these um, don't end up in landfills. Some of them get downcycled, which means that the plastic bottles actually end up getting converted into smaller. Um, plastic products, so they just go from being water bottle to another plastic um, product, and then they eventually end up in landfill. So they go through a process, but most of these bottles they just end up in some landfill, or they end up getting burned, which this also causes a negative effect because it releases toxins into the air and that um, creates more pollution. Um, so some ways that we can um, improve these negative impacts on our wallets, our health, and our environment is um, just refusing to buy a bottle of water and uh, just buying one reusable stainless steel container. Um, one of them costs from like three to five dollars, and you can just easily fill it up at your home or you walk out the door and it saves money. And some of them are actually contain more water than the plastic bottle does. So it saves you money in the long run, and if you feel like you want not just free with tap water, you want to buy a filter, you can also do that. Filters range in price, but over the long run, they definitely save you money. Um, they like range from $30 to like $500, but when you think that you're spending over $1,000 on plastic bottles, spending $500 on filter, you not much anymore. Um, also, we can invest in campaigns and such that um, in our city that will lobby for cleaner um, tap water. And um, actually some of the tap water gets uh, regulated more often than bottled water does. Um, tap water gets regulated, I think, quarterly, so like four times a year. Tap, um, bottled water gets, um, uh, they get tested annually. So tap water gets more regulated. It has more um, like regulations to it than bottled water does. So if we like maintain that and we keep investing in um, just actions that will help improve our tap water, we can make a really big difference into the water that we drink and stop harming our wallets, our health, and our environment. So Jesus, what did you think? Uh, the structure was uh, solid. Um, had a clear view on the intro and the preview. She also uses uh, uh, good examples, whether being personal or uh, or being statistical, but they're good examples. Um, 